Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's that time of year here in Orange County, New York, where the plane gets covered. Take a look. So we have a uh, very actually expensive, pretty expensive system at the time. I did not install this system. Um, it was done by the previous owner, um, but it covers the prop, the hub, and the, and the uh, uh, cowling of the airplane. Um, I should do a better job covering it, but it's in the hangar. If this was outside plugged in, I would of course attach where all the balls are supposed to go, wrap around the belly of the airplane, and of course it comes over here. I have um, two already kind of in the little spots where they should be, three I don't. Um, keeps it nice, and this is the company who got it from. But that keeps the plane nice and warm um, because last night it got to about 22 degrees last night. So that's why I decided to do it a couple of days ago to keep it nice and hot. And I also, if you notice the inside of the plane, a little heater back there, a little box thing. Um, it's on low, so don't worry. I do have a little window crack so air kind of goes through it. But it keeps the inside of the airplane nice and warm um, to about 75, 80 degrees. And this way, all the instruments and everything in the airplane is warm. Um, this way it's not cold starting and uh, starting up the glass cold and all that fun stuff. It keeps it nice and warm for an easy start up and go instead of you know waiting um, for the propane setup, waiting to put the, the duct work into the front of the airplane so it gets nice and warm. Um, that could take, you know, it's 45 minutes and you get the block really warm uh, with push it with air. Um, hot air but this is plugged in the cylinders are wrapped and the um, oil pan has a pad so it stays at a temperature all the time and i basically get in the plane start it and it's almost in the green um in the yellow actually where the temperature gets up there uh, for operating temperature so it's really cool also just like in your home this time of year we put the heat on you put the heat on in the airplane, it comes in the engine compartment, you could have a, you know, you could have a, an exhaust leak, so CO, CO detectors. Uh, a lot of people have those little tiny ball things you can get from AOPA and those other guys and it turns colors if it's getting CO in the airplane. Um, but you sh I should have one all year, I did have one and it's expired like a couple months ago and it's in the back seat so I really never look at it. So but I, what I did was, um, on Amazon, you can check this out. So I got this little CO detector. Um, it's for planes and cars. Um, and on the front here, I'll put the link in the description below. But it has directions, okay? Um, and it basically comes in a little case. You turn it on. It tells you what the CO is readings in the airplane. It's a gas. It'll go off if it's higher than you're supposed to have it. And it comes in this little case type thing here. You just push it out. And we'll try and do it with the camera on here. Um, if I can, okay, I've got it out of the case here. So this is basically what it is. It takes like a little watch battery in here. You open it up and it's a little watch battery. It should last a year plus. Um, and it's nice, nice and digital. It's small. You know, I really can't, you know, size of my palm. Well, it's a little bit smaller than my palm. Um, and then it comes with a little sticky 3M tape. You take this off and you can stick it anywhere in the plane that you want it uh, or not, whatever you want to do. But that's a pretty cool thing. So I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna put it on the description below so you guys can take a look and see if that's something you wanna do. Um, instead of those, you know, those flimsy things you stick on the dash that everybody has. Uh, this is pretty, ac obviously really pretty accurate. We have the heat on and the CO, you know, at that point, if it's there, can definitely get in the cockpit pretty quicker than if you don't have the heat on. So just a couple little things, you know, and we should have it all year round. I'm guilty of that. I had that cheap one that expired and it's in the back seat. Um, and so I got that. Um, from, from another guy um, who I was talking to who referred me to that. So it's pretty cool. So he had his for a couple years and had no issues. So it's pretty cool to have. So take a look at that. Um, today, why well, I plugged the plane in the other night is that today we are going to go to Mount Pocono, um, Mike Papa Oscar, to pick up Pat in a little bit. So we're going to pick up him. He's dropping his plane off over at Moyer Aviation. 
and I'm going to fly him back to Morristown, and from Morristown, I'm flying back to Orange County. So Orange County to Mount Pocono, Mount Pocono to Morristown, Morristown back to my home airport, Orange County, New York, Mike Golf, Juliet. All right, guys, stick around. Enjoy the show. See you in a bit. Hey, guys, so change of plans quickly. We're going to fly to Sky Acres to get fuel. So we're going to transition through um, Stewart International Airspace. And I think Poughkeepsie Airport might be, might not be closed, but if they're open, we'll transition through that airspace as well. Um, Pat's a little delayed, like always, right? And from Greenwell, uh, from um, Sky Acres, we're going to fly to Mount Pocono. Stick around. Oh, and the plane's out. And of course, across the way there is Take Flight Aviation. All right, see you guys. Dine on Sky View. Say the barometer setting, we'll get there. Well, folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are at Orange County, like always. Like I said before, we're gonna take a ride to Sky Acres because Pat is usually late for everything. Um, and fill up, unless he takes off before I get here, then we'll go straight to Mount Pocono, which I highly doubt it. Um, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll call him. You guys can hear him yell. Uh, everything's so good so far. It's a beautiful night to fly. Um, it's really nice. It is 45 degrees out, actually. The winds are calm. It's been nice and crisp. Um, oh, what does that mean? The plane can take off like a bat out of hell, right? Right? The air is nice and thick. And the performance of these airplanes are awesome this time of year. Well, let's close it now. You know, the other thing is I notice that I haven't worn a jacket in a long time and a, and a, and a sweatshirt underneath is that I feel like I gained 100 pounds <laughs> because the seatbelt, I had to like let the seatbelt out a little bit. I'm like, geez, am I, uh, I, just lost a I just lost a couple pounds here and I felt like I gained a couple pounds. Uh, but the jacket, long sleeve shirt, you know, you lose a couple inches. Or you gain a couple inches. That's okay. Oh, I'm going to close this door because it's... Don't need it open. Right now, it is cold out there. Okay, traffic diamond 908, Delta Sierra is about 8 miles to the east. You're going to be overflying the field for a left downward for runway 4, Orange County. Actually, I can paint it a little bit. A lot of birds also need to get out of the way here. Looks like it might be a Pitts coming up here. Um, don't know who owns that. I don't think I've ever seen him around here before. I know of. So we got a lot of cameras going. Now let's not talk about that. Let me tell you. Editing my videos is getting a little bit longer and longer as we go along here. So, uh, November 221, George, George, golf, golf, I should say. Um, yeah, looks like it says it's pits. I don't have anywhere to do a run-up, so we're going to stop right here and do a run-up. All right, guys, so I'm going to do this, and we'll call Pat. I'll right back to you guys, and the sun's right in my face. Okay, Okay, the checklist is complete. I'll put that over here. 
Uh, let's give Pat a call and see what he is up to. He's not gonna know I'm calling him, so uh, we'll let it we'll let it go like just like that. If it goes through the Bluetooth, I hope I should. Let's see. Orange County three Delta Charlie left base runway four Orange County. Yo, what's up, man? You in the air? Uh, not yet. I'm just in my run-up. I'm ready to take off. What's your status? Should I just go to uh, MPO or Orange get County fuel? I don't need, really need fuel, Charlie, but uh, go get fuel. You still that late? See? Yeah. Go get fuel. Why are you so late? I don't know. Why are you always yelling? Just go get, just go get fuel, bro. I'll be there soon. All right. You don't have to yell about it. Okay. Bye. Bye. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I left the base that I'm right, that's Pat. Kind of you heard him yelling, right? He's always yelling about something. So let's go direct to uh, 4 4 November. Does that sound about right? Um, Geikers. Look at that. Okay, All right. Dominic Delta Sierra is two miles from the field. Let's go, Geikers. Field from the east at 3,400 for a right teardrop or a left downwind runway for Orange County. Uh, Diamond, you can go ahead of us. Not quite ready yet, thank you, though. Okay. Pitch you good? Yeah, just one, please. Uh, Orange County traffic, Skyhawk. The cool pits. All in, number two, base, 404, touch and go, Orange County, Skyhawk. All right. So, we're going to line up here. Somebody short base to final. Runway four, full stop, Orange County traffic. And, uh... The head course heading is 075, and we're going to go to 30, uh, 2500. We don't need to go high, it's right across the river there. Orange County 3 Delta Charlie on and the And then uh, we'll just put the heading bug on 075. When I get the autopilot, it would actually do something. Bug 2500. Um, you're going to do a 075 heading, I did that. Uh, and that's really about it. 1100. The weather one more time here. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation 2110 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Message 07 Celsius. Dew point minus 03 Celsius. Altimeter 3044. Remarks. Density altitude minus 1100. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation 2111 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 0. Okay, we're good there. Let's put um, 2100. That's um, Stewart Tower. And we'll put the bottom one here. We'll put Unicom for Sky Acres. A 122.8 when it starts loading up. Waiting for the guy to clear. In Orange County, 3 Delta Charlie, left downwind, runway 4, Orange County. We have somebody on a short final. Orange County traffic, Diamond 8 Delta Sierra is performing a right tier drop or left downwind, runway 4. 2.2.8. Orange, Orange County is a busy County airport County. for a non towered airport. Very busy. Traffic down eight Delta Sierra's joining a left downwind for runway four behind the traffic. Orange County. Orange County three Delta Charlie midfield. Okay. Four Orange County. If anything, airplane, uh, there is a diamond on the front of you. If you don't see me. Got you. Can I trust anybody short base and final for four? Okay, clear right, clear left. Or clear right, clear left. Orange County traffic, Mooney, eight, center number taking four for eastern departure. Orange County. Okay, looking good, folks. Let's go on the runway. Looking good, some tech vision's coming in. TFRs, I checked that. All good. Fuel pump is obviously on. Let's roll. A lot of birds we got to watch out for here. They're all in front of me here. All right, full power. 
Right rudder. 6570, rotate. Orange County. And Orange County 3, Delta Charlie, left the base, runway 4, Orange County. All right, gears coming up. Okay, traffic down, eight Delta Sierra is going to extend the downwind for the traffic on the base. Eight Delta Sierra. Orange County traffic, a beach here is departing 04. Unless uh, I don't see somebody on short final, Orange County. All right, flaps coming up. And Orange County traffic, Mooney East, November departing pattern to the east, climbing through 800. Going over to Stewart, see you later. All right. Orange County traffic, uh, left down, Orange County. Orange County 3, Delta Charlie, turning on one mile final runway 4 for a touch and go, Orange County. Orange County traffic, Diamond 5, 8, go Fox out, holding short runway 4, Orange County traffic. Orange County traffic, Diamond 8, Delta Sierra, turning left base runway, off a turning base for 27. November 6 here, Papa Runway 27, clear touch and go. Store Tower, good evening. Mooney 688, 7 November request. November 6 here, Papa, did you copy? Yes, yeah, 6 here, Papa, clear for 27. Runway 27, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 6 here, Papa. Mooney 87 November, Store Tower, go ahead. Good evening, sir. Just part of Orange County heading east, climbing through 1,700 for 2,500. Requesting a transit to your airspace north of the 84. We're going to Sky Acres. A number 87 number transition is approved. Approved. Phrase and number. Thanks, sir. Okay, so you got the transition approved. Let's pull the power back. Full pumps coming off. Approaching altitude. Light. I'll keep the land light on. We're transitioning to the airspace. Okay, looking good. 2,500. Outs are up, gears up. They are trimmed. Okay, the highway in the sky, 2,500 on the Skyview HDX from Dynon. Love this display. Love this Mooney. Looking good. We won't, we won't fly too fast going here. We'll pull the power back a little more. 22 and a half. Over, we'll go 24. Yeah, Mooney is an awesome airplane. I know I have one, and it's almost like, hey, you know, you're talking about the plane you fly all the time. But awesome airplane. Uh, you know, uh, Mooney needs to really get in the social media platform to really try to pull in new customers um, like the other manufacturers are doing to make a wow factor for these planes. Because i got to tell you, they're really good in flight. They really are. They're really stable in flight. They handle the weather. They handle, you know, wind shear. They handle crosswinds landings pretty good. They got big wings. They're good for gliding, God forbid. You know, and it's, it's an awesome all-around airplane. It really is. Now, the mid-body is a little bit longer than this one. Need a little more, more room in the back. Um, but I have a great time in this airplane. I'm not that burning, I'm not burning that much uh, fuel. Oh, it's fun. But yeah, I wish uh, Mooney would, uh, if you're watching, probably not. Not my little channel. Tower, six here, Papa. We're going to be departing to the south. Uh, if you're watching, get in the social media it's platform. Really push your product. It's an awesome product. Mm, good day. Awesome product. Turn to south. Prove. So if you change the proof, let's be exit the area. Beautiful night to fly. Perfect. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go over to Stewart Tower, I'm sorry, uh, Hudson Valley they call it, but it's Poughkeepsie, um, Tower is 12400. 
I don't think they're there. Uh, but it changes. Sometimes it's not on the uh, data server. Uh, sometimes it's not even um, known that they're closed. Store Tower, Mooney uh, 8, Center Member requesting uh, frequent change to uh, Hudson Valley. On the 8th of November, free time, proof, safe flight, good day. Proof of day, thank you, sir. See you on the way back. Okay, that's good. Let's got 124. Let's see if they're there. Anybody home? Beautiful. They got the Hudson River to our right, the Hudson Valley. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing here in the Northeast. Um, the videos don't do it justice, I gotta be honest with you. But that's looking down towards the south. By the tour, that, that'll take it all down to New York City. Of course, you got the Hudson Valley. Hudson River still to our right, straight ahead, I should say. And then you have the mountains way out. You know, up towards the north area of New York. It's beautiful to fly around here. And of course, Stewart is right over there. A lot of cool things to fly around here. I don't think anybody's home. What we'll do is to play it safe. Um, we'll go up to 2700. So let's just do 2700 and get up there. Just a little above 2700, just in case someone's there. Hudson Valley traffic, uh, Mooney 8th of November, is about uh, four miles to the west to be transitioning uh, north of the uh, airfield at 2,700 going to Sky Acres. Hudson Valley traffic. Looking good, just flying good. airspace anyway. Um, well, not really. Let's go up a little bit higher. Now we're out of their airspace. The 28. It's pretty easy to transition. I know, uh, you know, a lot of people are just afraid to talk to the towers. These guys are really cool. I mean, ATC guys are, and women are just awesome. You know, might get a cranky one here or there, but they might be having a bad day. They're trapped in a room all day and pushing buttons and worrying about their sector and their traffic and making sure they're not making a mistake. It's a lot, especially when it's really busy. You know, when air, you know when the commercial flights are back and running 100%. Right now they're a little slow, but they're all short, still short-handed because they people are not working. Um, it's it's a lot of pressure on them. I give them a lot of credit for having um, that responsibility of hanging over their shoulders. You know, they're dealing with people's lives on the ground, in the air, you know, and if someone has a, a you know, uh, a mayday call, you got to worry about, you know, you know, try to figure out where, where they can land and where they're at. So and they, they, they take a piece of that emergency and take it, you know, personal. They want to get you safe. They take that very personal. Um, and if it doesn't work out, you know, they also get depressed and, you know, they feel like it's their fault, something happens. I um, mean, I get it, but ATC guys, thank you so much for everything you guys do. Really, we, I really appreciate it. And a lot of, the, all of aviators appreciate what you guys do on a regular basis, 24-7, to keeping us all safe. So thank you. Okay, so we're about three minutes away. We're going to pull, well, we've already cut the power back a little bit. We're still doing a buck fifty over the ground, the ground speed. Uh, 146, 147, 148 in the air here. 
22 and a half to 20, 24 and a half settings here. Um, we're looking good. So uh, we have, let's listen to, I already have that down here, 22.8 is Sky Acres. Let's see if anything going on over there. Go back, we'll go to 2,000 inches here. 2-0, I'm sorry, inches. Yeah, Dyna gives you all the information you need, which is nice. No weather report here. Final, short final don't have weather. Um, final traffic, but right down in comment, Orange County. Um, Sky Acres has its own traffic, typically. Um, but we're going to go down to traffic pattern altitude is 17. So let's put 17 as a reminder. And then we'll take a look and see what runways we'll be using, 17 or 35, right in front of us. The light is already on, everything looks good. Let's slow us down now. Alright, we're all looking good here. That's why I like to go th go transition through Poughkeepsie and Stewart because you go, you can see, I don't know if you can see in this map here, but we just got out of Poughkeepsie's airspace, which is right here. So an airport's right here in front of us, about three miles, three and a half miles. If, you, if you're at, if you go over it at 2700, you got to know, in a Mooney especially, altitude. you got to nose di dive it down, and then you're over speed, and you're trying to pull the power back. So I'd rather just get to practice with ATC, you know, see what's going on, um, and go th transition to the airspace lower so I don't have to do all this stuff, extra stuff. Okay, it looks like it favors 1-7 with the wind sock. And Skycrest traffic, good evening, uh, Mooney. 688, some of the member is about uh, two and a half miles out to the west. Uh, I'll be flying over the field. Look at the wind, wind stock, uh, sounds like 1-7, Skycrest. Okay, let's take a look at ourselves. No one's in the traffic pattern. I see no traffic. Now, Sky Acres traffic, Air Commander, departing runway 17. You gotta understand, folks, in this area. Heading into Sky Acres, uh, got a Cessna to the northeast. We're about five miles out now. We're gonna be maneuvering for the 45 uh, to be looking for you. Mooney, copy that, sir. We'll be looking for you also. I have you on my screen. We'll keep an eye out. We are just over the field at Sky Acres, and then it looks like they're using 1-7, so we'll make the uh, over the field for the left downwind for 1-7 at Sky Acres, and we're descending through 1,600. Okay, sounds like no issue. Um, you have a lot of people in shoots with an engine on their back, they, you know, I forget what it's called, excuse me if I miss, um, and you have planes, you don't need ADSB. The Cubs, there's a lot of Cubs around here, so you got to keep an eye out, you're not going to see them. Okay, so let's get situated here. In Sky Acres traffic, uh, Mooney is midfield left downwind for 17. Sky Acres, looking for the traffic. Okay. And Mooney is beamed to 17 numbers downwind. 17. Sky Acres. Okay, so we're looking good. That's Kyrgyz traffic. Uh, you got a uh, Roman Tiger waiting to take off on 3-5 once everyone's done with 1-7. Is uh, winds favoring 3-5, sir, or 1-7? Just curious. I can turn around. Um, the winds are favoring 3-5, but there's really no wind. Okay. I'll copy that. I'll continue down to 1-7. Kyrgyz traffic, you need to take off on the 1-7 departure. Okay, gas. Kyrgyz. Under carriage. Mixture's coming in, prop. So gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, water speed. Skyhikers traffic, uh, Mooney's left base for 1-7, Skyhikers. Leaving altitude.
sun is blinding me. And Sky Acres, Skyhawk is on 45 for 17 at Sky Acres. Sky traffic, uh, tanker waiting to take off 35 once the uh, plane arrives and uh, departs from 17. Yeah, there's a Cessna hole in the takeoff, 17. And Sky Acres traffic, uh, Minimums. is turning final for 17, Sky Acres. Okay, gas. Their carriage mixture props, watch for speed, coming in, flaps are full, trim. And Sky Acres, Minimum. on left downwind, 17 Sky Acres. Mooney short final, 17, full stop, Sky. All right, check that key one more time, guys. Traffic. Carriage mixture prop speed. All right, we're fast, it's okay, we gotta go up to the top. All right, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, wind's dead here. So, technically, 3.5 is runway to use. I know there's some traffic taken off, so I decided to use that. Go off the front way. And aircraft ready to take off at Sky Acres. We'll extend our downwind a little bit so you can get out. Okay, Cessna taking off for all 17 Sky. And the booty's clear, 17 Sky Acres. Thank you. Okay, we're at Sky Acres. That was quick flight, right? I'm going to fill up. Roll 17 Sky Acres. I'm gonna fill up and then we're gonna head over to MPO uh, to pick up Pat. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. And pilotfund101 gmail.com. Any questions you might have. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Going to uh, MPO. That's the final one. Okay, guys.